I will walk you through the functionality of advanced postfix calculator. This is called postfix because the operators appear after the operands and this actually saves few keystrokes. And this calculator has the ability to fix decimal places, specify significance for scientific operations and using the del key, the backspace key, you can actually erase the numbers in case you made a mistake. Uh, so what I will do is I will walk you through six of uh, six main uh, functionality of this calculator. One is the modes, how to specify the modes and change the modes. Next is basic arithmetic calculations. And the third one is probability. Fourth one is memory. Fifth one is trigonometry. And the final one, the sixth one is statistics. So on the, let's move on to modes. The scientific in this mode actually you can specify say the number of significance um, significant digits so once you double click on that one you can actually switch up that mode so if you want to fix the number of decimal points uh, you basically say we are going to fix five decimal points so this is how it fix it and you can clear it up this way and now you can actually move around the among the three trigonometric um, units degree grade and radian and by default uh, with the degree is selected so now uh, let us move on to the basic arithmetic operations say 12 we will use the button enter so that this is data is saved to, to the register and then 6 uh, plus so that is 18 so now 3 minus 15 2 times uh, 30, 6 divided, so that becomes 5. So this is how the postfix operator works. So for, for first now, after the first number, you press the enter key, and then you uh, enter the next number, and you press the operator, and then it will calculate the value. There are two other operations, you see mod and div. So what uh, mod essentially does, let us say, say 12, uh, enter mod. It's basically going to find out the remainder. Uh, let us find out this number, say 21 and 5. So we should actually see 1, that's the remainder. Say 12, and so enter, and you want to do a div. So say, sorry, 12, enter, 3, and div. So that should give us 4. Say in, in also, let us do this, 21, enter, 4, div so that gives the five so now you get the idea of modern div and by pressing on the pi we can see the value of pi so we push so that is automatically pushed into this so now what we can do is we can do a chain operation using postfix so 12 enter 6 so that is 72 5 plus 2 divided so this is how we can do chain operations so we don't need any parentheses that is how the chain operations are done similarly if you want to do the inverse operation this is how we can do and if you want to change the, the sign of a number this is how we can do if you want to specify the a scientific notation operator you can say 1.2 and and this is it and then what do you do is suppose 6 plus so this is how the scientific um, numbers are specified. So now uh, let us look at the percentage. Say 25 enter 5 percentage. So that is the yeah, 25 enter 5 percentage. That is 1.25. So this is the how we do a percentage operation. So now let us look at some of the powers in the roots. Say 125 cube root cube. Clear. 5 square square root. Clear. So now 5 um, fourth power. 5 enter 4 and this. So this is what we get. So now let us find out 
द पावर फोर्थ रूट ऑफ सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सो नंबर वर्ल्ड इज देयर सो वी वी डू दिस सो वी कैन फाइव सो दैट इज हेव द पोस्ट फिक्स ऑपरेशन मेक इन वर्क सो नाउ लेट एस टू कर लुक एट द राउंडिंग सो बाई डिफॉल्ट सो वी हैव फोर डेसीमल पॉइंट राउंडिंग so we can also let's look at the probability operations now we'll start with a random number generation this is how the random number is generated so next the um, npr so say 12 sorry 10 um combination sorry permutation 4 and sorry 10 enter 4 combination so this is what we get so now 10 enter 4 combination so we saw combination we also saw the permutation and now let us do a big uh, factorial say this one will do factorial up to 280 uh, this is a big number so now this calculator actually does four memory operation this one actually places the data into the memory adds to memory subtracts from memory clears the memory So five memory, two memory plus. This is the data in memory. So now nine memory minus value in memory this and memory clear clears the memory. Now trigonometric operations. So let us take a look at uh, say thirty sine and then. we do a arc sign inverse sign so now hyperbolic operations let's see 3.6 hyperbolic and we do sign so this is what we get so now let us do 30 hyperbolic arc sign this is what we get so coordinate convergence uh, so polar to rectangular rectangular to polar x to y or ang radius and angle so let us look at um, r is 2 here uh, polar to rectangular and your degree is 60 degrees here so now sorry 2 uh, enter 60 i get that and now this is the other um, this is the y Uh, coordinate value so now let us see 1 enter 1.6 so this is what we get this is the value of the r and if you do this this is the value of the angle we can also do uh, degree minute and second so 5 degree for minute and 6 second so this is now we can basically find out the sign of that so we can also convert this number into degree minute and second now let's take a look at the logarithmic operations log operations so 100 by 10 by x sorry uh, 100 log x base 10 to the power x so 10 to the power 2 now we'll uh, basically do the natural logs say 90 is the natural log is this so to the power y is almost 90 and now let us look a look at the statistical operations so the way we enter 2 um statistical plus 9 statistical plus 4 so 9 again 6 statistical plus so now let us see how many numbers we have on the statistical register four numbers the average sum x sum square x this is the variance this is the standard deviation uh, one more thing i forgot to mention on the basic arithmetic operation is the simplification or the mixed mode fractions so 12 so 4 and then 5 and let us see save that into register plus this is what we get so now if you simplify this is what we get mc to clear the memory and uh, this is statistical register clearance clear to clear the screen and then ac 
to clear all the data in various registers and then this enter is very important because after each operand this needs to be entered. So with this I hope uh, you are able to get an understanding of the functionality of advanced scientific postfix calculator. Thank you very much.